In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can add timings to your overlays in Ecamm Live with a little help from Stream Deck and specifically the Stream Deck multi actions. Uh, we do have timings for scenes in Ecamm Live, and you can have transitions from uh, an automatic group, for example, just cycling between different scenes, or you can use a countdown timer to transition to the next scene uh, in a series of scenes in Ecamm Live as well. But we don't have any way to apply that specifically just to the uh, overlays themselves. The reason for this video is because I was asked the question by somebody from the Ecamm community and their specific use case was when uh, in interview mode they want to be able to press a button on their stream deck, have it put up the name of the uh, guests that they've got on and then have them automatically disappear after a set amount of time. And so that is the use case that I'm going to demonstrate today. So if I come into uh, interview mode, I have... Uh, prepared a little something, <laughs> literally uh, just one name tag. So here in my overlays, uh, you can see that I've got this uh, one little overlay here, which is an image. Uh, and that is basically what I'm going to use to simulate this. You could do this with uh, as many different overlays as you wanted. I'm just going to keep it nice and simple. Uh, you could also do this with text overlays. So the uh, chap in question had uh, built their names in, uh, in I believe, Canva. So I've just built something similar in uh, Keynote or some other image editor. But you could equally use this entire process just with the built-in text uh, function that you've got in Ecamm Live. But this is basically the uh, the overlay that we want to show and hide. Now at the moment it is just set to uh, show and hide. So let's add a little transition to this. If I click the little pencil icon next to it, uh, the transition is cunningly just off the screen. So <laughs> let me move this over a little bit. There we go. Let's say we want that to fly in from the uh, left just like that. And then I'll move this back over this way a little bit. Uh, and now you can see that when I show and hide this, that will just sort of fly in and out. So uh, notice that the exit, it exits back the way it came. So if I hide this now, it'll go back out, uh, show it and it will come back in. So what the, uh, the purposes of this is that we're trying to do is have it so that we press a button and it appears but then just automatically disappears, as I say, on its own after a set amount of time. So let's call that uh, five seconds, shall we? Uh, and let's see how we would do that uh, in the Stream Deck. So what I'm going to do now is uh, come over to my Stream Deck, uh, just like this. And we still got that uh, little uh, overlay on the screen. Obviously, you can just use the show and hide overlay. So if I come into the Ecamm Live section down here, we have got this uh, show and hide overlay just like that. So if you wanted a button, just a single button to do this, which is not quite what we're doing, um, it will just pick up all of your different overlays that you've got. That one happens to be at the top. So that would be then if I press that button, it would just literally show and hide that overlay. But obviously what we're trying to do here is something slightly different. We want it to uh, disappear after a set amount of time. So I'm just going to press that one more time to uh, get that overlay off the screen. I'm going to delete that action. And then what I'm going to do is create a multi action. And the easiest way to do that is just to right click where you want it to go. Uh, come down to create multi action. Now I'm going to come into here uh, and now we are indeed going to use that exact same uh, option there that we just used. So the show and hide overlay. So now it is going to show and hide the overlay that we want is uh, just that same one that we've just used. It happens to be the, the top of the list, nice and easy. Uh, and now what we want to do is add in a delay. So the delay is actually one of the Stream Deck functions. So we want to come over to all of the actions on the right hand side, look in Stream Deck, look for the delay and then drop that in there. Uh, and now we can put in the delay. Notice that the delay is in milliseconds. So if we wanted a five second delay, we would put 5000 in here. And next we are going to uh, come back to our Ecamm Live actions uh, and then use that show and hide overlay. Or what we could also do is just come over to here, right click on this, uh, copy, and then uh, just paste it in there again. So that is basically showing and hiding the same overlay. And then we just make sure that we do have the uh, the delay basically in the middle of them. So now if I come out of this multi action and this is now here, so we could give that a title. So let's call that, I'll just call it name, but you can obviously call it what you want. Uh, so now if I press this button, what you'll see is, uh, look, no hands, <laughs> it flies in from the left hand side. Uh, and then after five seconds, it should fly back out again. So that is the process of how you would do that with a multi action with the Stream Deck. So a bit of a short video there. If you found this useful, you may also be interested in the Ecamm Live Masterclass. This is everything from beginner through to expert of Ecamm Live, uh, covering not just Ecamm Live, but it does also cover the Stream Deck, the Loop Deck, and then also all of the other applications that you may want to use in conjunction with Ecamm Live, not least. Things like PowerPoint and Keynote to really level up your presentations. 
And once you've got killer presentations, why not take them into Zoom and Teams? So I cover all of that there as well. So Ecamm Live is, as I say, continually updated with all of the latest information related to the latest versions of Ecamm Live as well. So as Ecamm Live develops, so will the course. So it is lifetime access. Uh, it's $147, but there are $150 worth of bonuses included when you sign up. So to find out more, go to Ecamm Live. Uh, sorry, ecamlivemasterclass.com and there you will find a video giving you some more information, a bit more of an overview of exactly what's involved in terms of the core syllabus and everything like that. So that's all for this video, but I'll leave a link to some of my Ecamm Live videos over on the right-hand side, uh, which are all still obviously free on YouTube.